Hey, welcome to the show. It's Twin Tiers football tonight. Jenna Cottrell, Andy Belnowski with you. And Jenna, tonight we start out with a Section 4 bang. What a game tonight. Absolutely. A lot of uh, a lot of attention leading mm -hmm. up to this one. Yeah, two teams, one battle. Elmira versus Corning, both undefeated in league play. Need we say more to the highlights express at the Hawks? It's homecoming. Get rowdy. First quarter, nothing, nothing. The pads be popping. Jerry McPeak gets hit hard by Steve wow. Crouch. Wow, that was a huge hit. A battle early on this one. Then fourth down, McPeak makes up for it. Gets the first down to keep the drive going. That sets up this. Anthony Omick, the quarterback keeper, 10 yards down for the touchdown. Elmira takes a 6-0 lead after a failed PAT. Express, they keep chugging, but you can't do it like this. Ball hits the floor, and the big man, Mike Bilby, going Bilby on everybody, takes it up the field to get some momentum. That drive would stall, though, but this one... It does not. Elmira's a la Sessions putting it on and putting a clinic on. He takes it up the far side. 45 yards for the touchdown. He had two on the night. Elmira rocks Corning 30 to nothing. Their second straight shutout. A huge statement to claim first in the division. Moving on over now, Troy at number three, Wellsboro, the two teams undefeated. Hornets QB Mike Petropola out with an injury after the first half, and Troy capitalizing in the second. Nick Stefani able to convert for the first down. Then on the QB keeper, Isaac Havens punches it in. Trojans with the touchdown. Yeah, they're getting pumped, and that makes it a two-score game. And the two-point conversion Always helps Brandon Maddox walking it out to the Trojans avenge their loss from last season and snap the Hornets win streak, topping Wellsboro 17 nothing. Wow, good battle right there, Jenny. Look at this. A train down in Southport. Rob Piazza <laughs> is pumped. He Perfect. shot it too. Notre Dame take it on Spencer. Later in the game, this one is deep. Tim Davis. Yeah. Don't hate me because I'm a player. Breaks a tackle. <laughs> watched him run in for the touchdown. 70 yards out on the pitch and catch. Crusaders out in front 26-12 on the Panthers. And how about a nice conversion Crusader style. Ty Jones punching it in. Time to celebrate. And a shout out to the Notre Dame concession stand. Some of the best popcorn I would have to agree with in that. the business. It's so, so chewy. <laughs> Some good <laughs> stuff. 26-18. Notre Dame wins. Well, third ranked Tioga State Power at Oxford. First quarter, Jesse Manuel doing Jesse Manuel fit. Things from nine yards out. He uses a truck stick past the goal line. Tigers go up 7-0. Still in the first. This time it's Brad Jump getting home for a 34-yard scamper. Jump. And if you've heard this once, you've heard it a thousand times. The Tigers just running all over their opponent. Still in the first quarter, Adam Swirlin goes 46 yards. Tioga rolls 44-14. Well, sorry, Oxford. We knew that was going to happen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. How about the team with the state's longest win streak? Main Endwell hosting Shenango Valley. We start with some defense. Mark Mullins pass picked off by Michael Palmer. He likes chocolate. This one called back because of a block in the back. But it sets up this. John Sarah going John Cena. Hustle, loyalty, respect. You can't see me. 7 nothing <laughs> Spartans up 14 nothing after that. Adam Gallagher. He's just doing his thing. From 33 yards out, he scores 21-0 Spartans. Then to the second, Cordell Woolfork. That's a mouthful. That's a name. Woolfork. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Big Brother Darnell. Make it 28-0 after that. But then we get to the real story. Kicker Stephen Pam nails the extra point. That is a new state record. His 179th career extra point. History unfolding right in front of us. He breaks that record. Spartans roll 40 to 7. They take their win streak to 43 games overall. Wow, pretty impressive stuff. Now, Warrior run at North Penn Mansfield. Panthers 6 and 0 on the season. First quarter, the handoff to Brad Pugnot, and he's breaking tackles and hearts Ooh. as the Panthers take it in for the first score of the night. But the defenders rally right back. The QB connection later on makes this one just a two-point game. And then the Warriors again in Panther territory, but North Penn pushing them back. The pitch pass, yeah, no good on uh. that. And the Panthers all over the, this defense forcing turnovers. And how about that run game? Brad Punat, 145 yards rushing, three TDs for the Panthers. As North Penn takes it 24-7, they're now 6-0 and play unbeaten Troy next week. Woo! 
<laughs> That's some highlights well, tonight. Seriously. Yeah. Well, to the scoreboard in Pennsylvania, a couple of shutouts while losing all over Danwell. 31 0. Oh, slaughter. <laughs> we gotta love that. Thank and you. our friends at Muncie fall oh, again. This time, 18 0 to Bloom. <laughs> that was good, Muncie. I tried. <laughs> they, they, I learned from the best. They'll be <laughs> <laughs> They'll be back. Muncie will be back. We're back in New York. Bath all over Hornell on their homecoming night, 42-12. This marks the first time Coach Wayne Carroll has ever won at Hornell. That's a lot of years. Bruce Rinker rushed for 201 yards. He had four touchdowns on the night. They'll visit Livonia next Saturday for the division title. Both teams, yeah, undefeated. While Green Tops Lansing 7-6 for their first win of the year over the unbeaten Bobcats. College action, Louisville at Syracuse tonight. Early first, Orange driving. Terrell Hunt finding Ben Lewis for the touchdown. But did he get in? After a closer look right here, Lewis didn't have control on his way out. Syracuse settles for oh. three. And this is how things went most of the night. Louisville coming back strong. Brandon Radcliffe, Harry Potter, he had two <laughs> touchdowns at over 100 yards on the night. Terrell Hunt, he left the game late with an ankle injury. Cuse balls 28-6. They lost their third in a row. And Oof. Jenna, not so easy tough next week. to see that. Yeah, Number Florida one, State Florida coming State. to town. <laughs> Going to be tough. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but we, we better just worry about the tailgating instead. Yes, yeah. exactly. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Jenna, great job tonight and uh, great job Thank all you week. And, you know, we're looking forward to next week, Twin Tiers football. And Elmira, real big statement tonight. So plenty more coming. <laughs> we'll be right back.